Welcome to Amazon's Counterfeit Crimes Unit. This is where Amazon works with brands, law enforcement, and customers across the globe to make sure that shoppers like you and me are protected from fraudsters attempting to sell counterfeit products. Kibaro Smith is the Director and Associate General Counsel for the CCU. Can you tell us how the CCU protects customers and sellers? Amazon has zero tolerance for counterfeit products in our store. Customers deserve to shop with confidence. Our counterfeit crimes unit was started in June of 2020. We have machine learning scientists, software developers, and expert investigators, all working hard to protect our customers. At CCU, we're tracking down counterfeiters, both large and small. We also have teams who work closely with brands who sell on Amazon. When a brand reports a counterfeit, Amazon's own retail experts refer these new cases to CCU. So how big of an industry is counterfeiting? It impacts economies, it impacts innovators, it impacts employment of individuals who work within these corporations that design these goods. Last year alone, Amazon identified, seized, and appropriately disposed of more than six million counterfeit items worldwide, preventing them from reaching customers and being sold elsewhere. In June, Amazon and Cartier filed two joint lawsuits for promoting counterfeit luxury products including fake Cartier bracelets, necklaces, and rings. Amazon uses brand protection tools like their brand registry to safeguard brands and their customers. When brands enroll, they receive automated protection technology that leverages their IP to find and report infringements across our store. And it's working. Just last year, as we saw the selection of our products increase, the valid notices of infringement significantly decreased. In 2022 alone, CCU sued or referred for investigation over 1,000 criminals in the United States, UK, EU, and China. Now let me be clear, we will not stop until we drive counterfeits to zero. Visit aboutamazon.com to learn more and read the latest brand protection report. This message was paid for by Amazon.